Okay, so hi everyone. Um, I will just explain the workflow with the CAD tools uh, kit. So um, this is just one example and as the model is not really high <coughs> and complex, it's it's uh, fairly simple for explaining um, the, the tools. So here uh, is a one part that I took from an STL file and uh, as you can see there's many many different edges and everything is tri triangulated uh, you have some cuts and and booleans uh, operation and stuff and bevel also so i will uh, take this um, this mesh and change it to another kind of mesh that we can handle correctly so especially for making real-time content from an iPoly uh, mesh. So um, uh, the, the goal is to make this kind of uh, shape, okay? So I will just close this one, this scene, and um, open the tools. So first of all, you will get this, uh, save your scene in a different context, in a different file than your working file as Ever I say this, uh, you should do this because if you have some bugs and stuff, you can go back uh, this way. So the um, the toolkit consists of different uh, elements. So we will start first with the CAD tools. So this CAD tools is a cleaning up uh, a process that remove. Um, or try to remove all the different faces that, I mean, all the different edges that are sharing the same uh, facing normal. So all those faces, for example, uh, I mean, all those edges can be uh, merged into an end gone. And uh, the reason is this mesh, if you save it as an OBJ, the size will be bigger than an end gone, uh, totally end gone uh, mesh. So triangle is is okay, but it can uh, struggle the the size of the of the of the file, and also that's much more easier to change the shape if you have no uh, triangle like this. So with the item selected, I have a macro that is that didn't got any undo, so you can save incremental if you want and uh, launch the the macro. Uh, so <clears throat> I just launch it, it will run the macro and after the process you will see that uh, most of the uh, same facing, um, uh, I mean all the all the faces that are pointing into the plus y or y minus or x minus and x plus and um, z positive and z negative uh, will be uh, merged. So this is really simple and it helps you to select easily different uh, faces. Okay, so same thing uh, also is you can detriangulate this. So you just click here to detriangulate de and then you have just quads. Um, so at that point, everything is okay. There's few more uh, um, a few more options here for the for the the cleaning, but I will uh, talk about those later. So, first of all, the first one and the second one, just to uh, refine and have a better uh, um, selectable, I will say, uh, mesh. So, with this, I will open back uh, my tool. So I use Control -L Alt and H uh, in my case, but in the in the config file uh, in the kit you can change it if you want so i will open the rebevel tool because we will work on the rebevel so first of all i will save this uh, in a temporary file so it will be saved in the c drive uh, temp uh, rebevel folder so just in case uh, you might guess what is what it what this is is just a reminder that you need to um, uh, disable I mean save your save your your file uh, actually before launching any macro and then you will open this menu at the bottom 
uh, keep this open here and then you will start refining stuff so for example I will say okay maybe this area will be rebeaver with um, six edges so now I have six edges here if I still want the same so I have some issue here I will just close this and I have also some tools to um, clean up this but that are not present into the into the um, cat um, where is that delet edge inside polyland uh, I think that's this one okay so I should select those I have also one opening part here I would not take care about this maybe continue refining those on the side so this win will be four so I have four edges four edges and here I will say eight so I have eight edges I am eight polygons um, so I will not use this uh, this part so I will just delete this one and this one just to make things easier so create a polygon here and at the bottom so now I can go back select stuff okay so here I have 25 I will change this to 12 and I have 12 polygons so here it is for the rebevel so it, if I'm not uh, satisfied about this uh, this part I can go back not with the control Z but because the control Z will not, will not work um, at the end and so you, you just need to press undo revert that will load the previous saved action uh, I mean state of the state of the scene so I can go back and say eight I want just eight um, polygons so here it is for the the rebevel so I have few sets uh, for the rebevel um, that I usually use I didn't use impair uh, a lot so this is why I've got those here um, so with this in mind I will also work on the creating the the hole here so I have different tools for this creating hole or creating cylinders and as we will work with um, booleans uh, on on the next part I will use cylinder and here there is few menus so it's working on the X Y or Z axis and this one is just opening the the full uh, sets of macros so of course on this on this one too I have a specific presets if you want uh, I can add some more but I mean this is just basic um, point and click uh, um, presets um, so here I just select those faces and I will launch the tool uh, on the Y axis because you see it's on the Y axis that the all is oriented so I will say 16 and now I have just a cylinder with 16 uh, edge, uh, side and at the, at the same um, the same size of the previously selected uh, part so I will do the same here just those those are um, so I will hide this one maybe and show you okay so those are also also but I will work with boolean so I will change those to maybe 16 or so you can use any 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 of those presets but I will use the same one for everyone just to keep things <coughs> with the same detail um, so here also in the stats you have uh, a selection set directly with the polygons so if you want to move those out I have a tool for that for this so in the cat tools I can just have the selection of those and cut to a new mesh item so there is a new mesh item here 
uh, that is added uh, directly but this way you can just continue refining stuff so for example here I will continue refining so we, we, we've used uh, 16 I will still use 16 on those so okay selecting everything 16 okay so we have those also in a different layer if we want uh, so cut to new mesh items so I can unhide and now I have all my different pieces so of course um, I need to select maybe those and I shift A scale those up you can use uh, a push also if you want uh, with the normal structure the top normal so I will use those and just merge them uh, just to Oh, maybe not those, uh, just refining those because if you have triple um, faces like those when you are making the booleans sometimes it's it's not working so just uh, selecting those and I will select a similar <coughs> oops sorry Did, uh, make a mistake um, okay so I will just select those and it will automatically with the macro here um, similar on object I can just merge those directly okay so again we'll continue so here we have so you can work with maybe those two different items and by selecting one and goes to um, goes to where is that because I use I use a macro directly for this um the booleans tool they are in edits probably yeah, boolean and you can use subtract from the background so in that case i i selected this part and the background will be subtract so this way you can save maybe this and refine it uh once more if you want um so for example i will not do this do this way i will just first make the union uh, so I go back and select those twice and add okay so those will be added to this one so I select this one and this one and use the booleans but this time union okay so now I have a union because oh that's not working actually uh, may didn't use the good uh, the good way of making it I will use my macro instead so control X go back to this control V and then I will use my macro we'll may maybe add those uh, into the into the, the kit those subtract intersect and union but um, in my case I like to to use those directly okay so that's working um, it's it's making correctly the the cut okay so this way and now we have the last one that we need to uh, clean up so those two same thing I will just select all those faces go back to here paste it paste them and use the boolean uh, subtract this time so is um, I just use a few different tools and now I have a completely uh, redefined uh, shape with much less uh, elements and yeah as you can see it's uh, it's fairly well made uh, I can use the quadrangulate maybe for those just to keep things uh, correct uh, go back to polygons quadruple and that's all as you can see uh, it's really simple and fine um, I will go back to the previous stage it was before using the tool so as you can see you can switch from this to this kind of mesh so much more easier and then you can refine anything uh, using the booleans tools 
and but you, you already know about those right uh, so using uh, edge beaver or beaver directly into this <sighs> everything should work uh, okay so I hope you enjoyed this video and you enjoy the the tool with the cat tools um, cleaning kit uh, here it is and I think I will release this uh, this week so keep in mind I will post new um, videos on this so hope you like this video the kits and just tell me things about this uh, on YouTube or Slack the Slack channel of Foundry or on Twitter see you bye bye